Hello, my name is Dory and I'm from Purple Petal Studio and this is my first YouTube video so I hope you enjoy it and what we're going to be doing today is I am going to be showing you how to paint this really nice wooden coat hanger with some four petal flowers and a little bit of wildflowers on there and all you need are you need a basin of water you need some kind of film or a paper plate or a wax paper to put your paints on. You need some paints and I like to use the folk art paints but I also use Martha Stewart paints too uh, but as long as they're a multi-surface because it's a, a shinier, you get a shinier, durable finish. Anyway, and then I have some brushes. I'm using the Pepalon the, from the Artist Club brushes I happen to like them but you can use any flat brushes I have a nice small brush like a number one maybe and a liner brush but any small flat brush and let's get started we're gonna put a little bit of white paint just a little bit and we're gonna put let's start off with some purple and I'm just gonna put a little dot of that and I'm gonna get a nice hanger here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat brush, I'm going to dip a little bit in that purple, I'm going to dip a little in the white, and I'm just going to go back and forth with it. And I'm going to do it again, just to load that paint in my brush. Notice my handle straight up instead of going like this. All right, and now um, I'm going to start with some flowers. So all I'm going to do is a basic just come around and end like that and then maybe do another one and I'm just giving it like a little push little wiggle just a little wiggle and coming back and I'm going to do four petals if you want to do five petals you could do five petals but on these I kind of did four and then I'm going to do another one. Don't worry about overlapping. Overlapping is fine. And keep the white in the center. And maybe I'll throw a little buds off. And bud, you could just do maybe two petals. And maybe some you could even do one. Let's just kind of pull it out. I like to make little buds as I go to the end. All right. And then I'll, maybe I'll do another flower like right here. Maybe I could see the other hanger so I could see how I have it. Oh yeah, that's some orange. I want to get some orange on there. So see how I have some, doesn't have to go, so doesn't have to go in any special order. You can put them wherever you want. Okay. And even if it's a little hard on the edge here, but no big deal. Come right back over it. Just keep your brush, you know, flat. You want it always to look like that. You don't want to have a glob of paint on there. And then maybe I'll just get a few here. And pull it down. Then I'm going to clean my brush off. And the napkin would be good, but I'm going to wipe it right on my thing here. Alright, and now I'm going to grab some orange. Some orange flowers would look nice. I'm just going to put a squirt of orange. And you could use any color. Maybe you want purple and pink. Oh, I have some white there. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing with my orange and white. I'm just going to a little dab of orange, a little dab of white, keep my handle straight and go back and forth really hard so that that paint goes up the bristles, but you want to keep your colors separate, so be careful not to mix it. And then now I'll put some orange flowers in, so I'm going to come right in here and do the same thing with some orange. This one comes right off the edge. So we'll go right off the edge. And here we go. And 
The sound you hear is my dog in the background drinking water. Of course, he's got to be in this video. Okay, and maybe I'll put another one here. And maybe I'll put a couple of buds here. Maybe I'll put two here. Just to give it some more color. And down here we need some. So maybe I'll give it another. Do one here. Maybe one here. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to wash my brush off. Clean it off. Now let's go to the greens. And I'm going to put a couple of these. I'm just going to do green and white. As you can see, we're going to put some leaves and then I'm going to go with the wildflowers. So we have all our colored flowers except for the blue. And now all I'm going to do for those leaves, I'm just going to push it, give it a little push and lift it. Push it and lift it. Here I'm just going to attach it a little bit. Maybe put a leaf there leaf there and all I'm doing is see I'm just flattening it out and then I'm lifting it to get a little point on it right and this maybe I'll just attach a little vine don't worry if your orange or your purple gets in there it kind of looks nice give it a little vine push it lift it push it lift it and get a whole bunch of leaves in because those blue flowers you could put them right over the leaves it doesn't matter just kind of fill it in and just getting all those in there Look at that. nice and quick just make sure you lift if you don't lift your brush at the end you won't get that nice little point so you want to always hold it straight to the surface okay and that looks pretty good got a few more leaves in there okay now we're going to go to our before I do the blue flowers what I'm going to do is take my liner brush and I'm going to dip it in the water and I'm going to grab some maybe some purple and I'm going to just pull some of that purple from the edge of that little pile there and roll that brush. And I'm going to go in here and pull some little lines out from the inside of my flowers. And you're not pressing very hard. You just want to give little lines. And you don't even have to do this, but it, it kind of gives it a little finishing touch in all the petals. And I'm doing that, I start inside the flower and pull it out. So you want to start in the flower, pull it out. All right, just on the purple and then the orange, I could do the same. Rinse that off, grab some orange, just on the edge, I'm not going in the middle of that pile, and pull some out, rolling it, and then I'm going to come in here and do the same thing. I'm going to some of those little orange lines out all right just to give it a little touch okay then you just take the yellow a little bit of yellow and dot the centers and this way we gave the leaves a chance to dry before we put those blue flowers on there and we're going to take the back of the brush Give it a little dot and go boom. So we're making the dots inside and we're just doing little back of the brush, a little dot in the center. Now you can have these, any, you could put it green if you wanted to, if you didn't like the yellow. I'm gonna do a few of these little dots on the buds too. But you don't have to. And like I said, if you wanted to have green inside, you know, change your colors around. I think on my original, I even had uh, purple lines in the orange, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see, I have purple lines coming out of the orange, which is nice, too. Um, 
So mix your colors around. Do whatever you like. Now we're going to go, I'm going to wipe that off. And now we're going to go to the blue. And like I said, it could be any color of your choice. I'm going to do a little, little bit of blue there. And I'm going to take, I think I'm going to use this little liner brush. Mix it around. And now to do those little, all you're going to do is you're going to, I'll do one on here. You're just going to press it down and lift it. Press it down and lift. Press lift. But your handle has to be straight. If it's on the side, you're going to get a big straight line. All right, and I'm going to come in here and just do a couple of these little, I start from far away, like say I'm going to do here. I start from up here and work my way into the flower. And it just gives a little bit of extra flowers. I might even do some on top of the hanger and just Fill them in. Fill in wherever you want to. Wherever you like. To give it a little bit more color in there. White flowers. All right, I'm still filling in. Trying to do this so that you can see without my hand in the way, but unfortunately I know it's still getting stuck in there. All right. And just that little bit of blue, and then there you go. Maybe a few more here. Wherever you see a little opening, you can put a little blue in there. Don't worry about messing up. You could always cover it with a leaf or something. Maybe I'll get one more here, like a little leaf. And there's our, uh, there's our lovely mirror. Maybe put a uh, hang on now. Maybe just put a little ribbon on there, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed it. See me again for some upcoming videos. Uh, once again, I'm Dari from Purple Petal Studio, and hope to see you soon. Bye.